generator. I'm gonna have conduit here, so I made these little brackets. These are gonna be temporary. Uh, drill the holes through the two by fours, and I'm now sending it outside. Really nice. Had it nice, neatly done. What's up guys, welcome back to another video of me doing stuff. I am going to be building a solar panel, solar panels right by my shop. Cause uh, this is uh, my power source right there. Been running a generator, but I need some power when I don't run the generator. Like sometimes I don't run the AC and I just run like lights and stuff speakers or whatnot, small little things and I want power inside that way I don't have to like start up the big generator. I'm wanting to, I have these big solar panels right here. I dug this trench like sometime last year. Yeah, you know, I just never got around to building it and it was like, so um, since I dug this trench a long time ago, I gotta redig it cause dirt likes to fall in and then I have to drill posts here, make a nice frame, stop these bad boys in, put conduit here, I already got conduit and the posts, got it, you know, drill a hole, and so, shove electrical wires through, so I'm gonna get started. Okay, dang, I thought I would catch it. So I dug out most of the trench, except this little part. It's kind of hard. The teeth are like digging in. I just need to, I'm gonna use that pickaxe, kind of like dig it up here and then use the backhoe to finish this off. All right, got all the trench dug out with the backhoe. I got measured out where my posts are gonna be. Got the, measured it out, got the pickaxe, kinda dug it out a little bit. There's one, one back there, another one. Um, four right here, so I'm gonna get the tractor, change out the backhoe, put the auger on, and drill the holes up. So yeah, I'm gonna get started. I got the auger stuck. I can't go. What sucks would, would be nice if this tractor had reverse spinning, but this does not have reverse spinning. So I'm gonna try to get this auger out. It's stuck, so many roots and stuff like that. All right, since uh, the auger broke, I'm just gonna be hand digging with the post hole digger, not the shovel, the post hole digger right here. This thing! When I use this thing to dig, hopefully I can dig it out. <laughs> all right, I got it all dug out. I used a post hole digger and a pickaxe. Kind of got it out. You can kind of see the auger still stuck right here. But I think I could be able to just wedge it in like this straight with the post. 
it's like maybe 16 inches deep and put concrete around it and bury it like fill it up and then I had an idea I think I could still try using this as a just a drill because then I only need to drill it up baby about this deep I'm gonna try digging the other three out and then I'll keep working So I kind of tried digging it out with the auger. It actually worked. I could dug this one out. I just got to get the post hole digger and dig it out a little bit deeper. Same thing with this one. Like it's some nice hard solid dirt. It's going to be easy. So these are all four. And so yeah. I'm going to start digging. All the concrete has dried. I used fence post concrete. It's my little post that's holding it up. I used fence, po fence post concrete. Thought I did, but it's nice and solid, I guess. Nope, never mind. It's wiggling like crazy, so I think I'm gonna grab one of those sticks, nail it down, and then. Man, probably pull up the tractor, get a laser level, cut these all nice and level. Take all the bracing of off. Yeah. We'll go on from there. So yeah, get started. Alright, so I got the angle cut out. We measured it doing uh, 18 degrees of a slope. So my dad already cut it. We already measured it. I got the laser level you know, made it flat here, marked the corners, and then I got a piece of 2 by 4 on this little angle, what is it called? Angle cube, I guess, yeah. And then we put it, put the 2 by 4 slanted, mark it, marked it, and then, we'll sew, and then I measure this side, so I have to cut the other side, and that's it for today. I'll work on it tomorrow. Okay, okay. I have measured it and cut it, cut the pieces. I, it, it, um, the circular saw could not reach all the way, like stopped right here. So I had to mark the other side, that way I could cut the other side fully, but I, I didn't cut it straight. I think this one's also kinda bad here. Cut these two top ones. This is like, like four feet off the ground, so it's not that bad. Also this one, but now I could get these two by fours, start building a frame around them. So I got framing basically done. Well, I got these two pieces. This is where the solar panels are gonna be leaning against. I put that piece that because I'm gonna put siding in here. I'm gonna run conduit and I'm gonna put a generator underneath. So this is gonna be like multi-use. It's not only gonna have solar panels, this is one of the reasons why I made it so high, is that way I can store a generator. I'm going to have a conduit here, so I'm wire the generator up and the solar panels. So, I have to, so right now I'm going to build like a little framing, like a little frame. That way I can have like a little door, that way I can turn on the generator from inside and fill it up and whatnot. Okay, um, finish the framing here. Right here, little door frame. I left space underneath it for ventilation and above for ventilation inside. I'm gonna put a 30 inch door right here. Just open and close, that's just gonna be boarded up. So now I need to get some siding and board all this up. But I don't have siding right now, so I think I'm either gonna put the solar panels on or 
do the conduit. So I got the solar panels up on here. I made these little brackets. These are gonna be temporary until I make myself, I mean, until like I bolt them in. But, and then, so, um, I had to get rid of this, cut this down, that way I can just wheel stuff in here. I had to put siding. I need to put siding around here. I'm gonna figure out how to wire these up. Run wires through the conduit pipes. Cut everything through. Drill a hole through my shop, which I hate doing because I don't like making holes in here, but I have to. I just got uh this right here. I got a Generac a Guardian Series 9 kilowatts generator. Just picked it up. All right, so I'm currently shoving wires through conduit. I I sc tried screwing, put it in a screw here. That way, this could just roll while I pull through here. Look at this. It's, it, it bent the screw. I just <laughs> I can go jiggle. <laughs> so yeah, now I'm gonna put multiple screws and continue shoving it through. Alright, so I got the wires shoved right through. I'm gonna silicone it to the wall like this. It has to be slanted because <sighs> anyway, so yeah, it's gonna go right there. I have to pull the wires through, cut them, and then right here, got to cut the wires shorter. I have these cable connections. I'm going to hook this up in series. So that means I have to hook up that plus positive to that negative and take these two and hook it up to these wires right here. And then let's go inside. And then inside and then inside I have this MPP MPPT solar charge controller um, I'm doing a come on, doing a 24 volt battery system so max solar power is 520 watts Hook, hooking it up 36 to through 75 volts right here so I'm doing this right here 24 volts uh, you hook up solar panels, the solar panels here, battery, load. And then I'm going to use this inverter. It's a nice uh, 4,000 watts surge power and 2,000 watt continuous power. So uh, input is 12 volts, output is 120 volts. So it's a nice big boy. So what's pretty cool is you can hook up the load right here. Hook up the load 20. So it's gonna be 36 volts coming in from the solar panels, 24 volts to the batteries, and 12 volts from the load. And then I'll be able to use this thing and have solar power. I'm sending all the wires through. I am, that's gonna be plus minus, and the green one's for ground. Now I can hook up a ground cable right here. So yeah, I ran it through, drilled the, uh, drilled the holes through the two by fours, and I'm now sending it outside. I have some wire nuts, and I'm gonna wire nut all these guys together. I really need a silicone, this thing keeps falling off. Got all the wiring done right here. Plugged it in, it's 
really nice. Had it nice, neatly done. Drill the hole through here. I put the ground wire through. Drill it through here. Drill the hole here. Here. Yeah. Um. I got these big crimper thingies. I don't know what they're called. Crimp them together. So now everything's wired up. I ran wires down here. I already cut a piece of drywall for the batteries. So. Yes, yeah, so and I'm just gonna put the drywall up here, make it look nice and neat, and then do the rest outside. So I put the drywall up. Looks really nice and neat. I got the battery wires are right there. Looks really nice. It's everything so nice and neat. You know, the little wiring harness, the ground wire. This just you know, this just everything nice and neat. I'm gonna make a little battery stand, place two batteries because I'm doing a 24 volt system setup. So yeah, now I just have to clean this giant mess, sweep up all that drywall dust. 